Yeah. How did he know? He he's he's following us online as well. No, no, no. That's a reminder. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So you you stop the recording now, right? Yeah. I stop. I restart. Okay. Um, okay. Then let's <coughs> let's 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 wrap it up again and just, uh, just start start starting. Morning, start. Morning, everyone. That we continue our um, paper discussion um, on last Thursday journal tab, and today we're going to. Um, <coughs> Sum up um, the the thing we discuss and maybe critically assess the the papers. And you continue. Yeah, I can. Yeah. So uh, one of the question Ina just asked is that why um, read one knockout. Is not having a long uh, lifespan extension of OPPD control. So I think um, <clears throat> because um, in, in this in this initial screen of the bacteria, if you see that um, in Figure One, they are using the the K twelve strand as a control instead of OPPD. So I think as long as they, they prove that. Um, in K12 strand, there is a lifespan extension. It already mean that uh, RIP1 is, uh, is having really bad um, effect in this K12 strand. So, RIP1 is having a bad effect, effect in the K12. Yeah, and so it's not, not a good gene, you can say this, because it's, uh, it's mTOR, mTOR um, complex. Okay. Because I, be I, careful I, with like you, you are a biologist. Don't don't say don't say yours. Like okay, that's not a very good good gene. So it doesn't have yeah. it has a bad effect. You know this is like kids say yeah. So like let's let's talk scientifically. You want to say that Rig one probably has detrimental effect in this K twelve right? And since we if we knock out we yeah. have we have the longevity extension. <clears throat> we, this we understand. My question is about OP50. Why don't we see this effect here? That that is a that, that is one of the major uh, points here of this panel, and we cannot just pass through without without touching it. We need to discuss why is that? Why OP50 so much retards the um, uh, longevity on the background of reg one? But if you see uh, for the wild type, you see the the OP50 and K12 does not have any um, differences. Mm -hmm. in we can see it. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, we yeah, can yeah. see that. But that's not the question. But the question is like, what? Why OP50 is so much detrimental on the background of Rig1 knockout or Rig1 mutation? That is my question. And I didn't hear this uh, explanation on the video four, or in your uh, previous videos as well. Yeah, because it, um, I haven't found an explanation in the paper. Are you sure? Yeah, but, but but they just want to um, focus on the K twelve strand. No, 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 no. You're missing the point here. So this this, this about K twelve, it's, it's clear. Yeah, they just use. What you want to say is they use BW25113 since it's the same background, the same strain as the uh, HNS knockout um, strain. And you just say that they use it as a proper control. This we understand and it is clear. My question here is like, what is going on with OP50? I, I, I'm sure the guys who, who publish in PNAS, they have they have uh, explained this, and, and they also commented on that. I, I just cannot I imagine they would not do this, or the, the reviewers missed that. But any, anyway, so let's, let's discuss this, if, even if they didn't. Okay, so I, I think that was also my question in the very end of the last uh, discussion last Thursday, but if you're not prepared to answer that, then let's move on. I don't think we need to let everyone wait till you find 
question. Maybe the U.S. says um, they prove previously have also proved that RIP1 mutants have a short lifespan than the N2 on the OP50. And, and they, they now prove that they have a really long lifespan in the K12. Yeah, but the explanation, I need the explanation yeah. why. Why do There's they why do they have the uh, the uh, uh, short lifespan on the background of OP50? Also interesting. Isn't it interesting? Isn't it? Isn't it important? Doesn't doesn't it look uh, interesting? That's that's something really interesting to, to look for. So I'm I'm really surprised we're not discussing it. Because when you when you analyze the lifespan under OP50, you don't have something similar. You mean you what? you get a reduction of lifespan? No, you should you 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 would hypothetically you should get the extension of lifespan because mm -hmm. the one rig one is a part of a tor mm -hmm. means it's in the insulin uh, like oh not insulin by the way but but it's upstream of OP fifty so it it is in, it is inhibiting the for uh, the um, DAF sixteen. And inhibition of 16 is, is kind of reducing lifespan. Mm -hmm. So, so this 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 blue line on the on the right that is what what we would expect from the from the read. But it is not true for the OP50. So that is my question: Why? Also, I uh, answered, I asked you previously about the figure 3H. Uh, for which I, you you didn't give me an answer. I asked you about this uh, this whole uh, take home message. Also, you didn't you didn't uh, discuss it in your in your last video as well. But if if you don't have the straight answer right now, so maybe we can continue. Um, okay, too, too many questions unanswered. I should say, yeah. So we, we I think next time we should prepare better. We, we, I, I think they might not explain it because they only name twice OP fifteen. That's that's also okay. Uh, but then we need at least we need to discuss this and say, okay, this is strange. Uh, this discrepancy is really strange. It's very interesting, but they didn't discuss this, which is also strange. Mm -hmm. Okay, if we discuss it like that, that's also fine, you know. So it's not our job to, to dissect this. This is their topic. Mm -hmm. They should have went, or maybe not. They maybe they think that it's out of their scope. That's also okay. But this data, like we, this panel is not completely described if we don't discuss this discrepancy. This, this discrepancy is very striking. Do you agree with me? Okay. Uh, uh, continue. So we'll go further, right? Yeah. So we see a uh, <clears throat> figure four J when uh, H and S E. coli mutants is added to the RIP one. We can see there is uh, no further extension of the lifespan. So why this happen? Because um, which means that um. They are my uh, in a common mechanism because um we see that um actually NAS is is standing lifespan and RIP1 also is standing, but when they combine, there's no problem. okay. I think this these points you have already discussed. Yeah, I have already discussed. It. So I, I don't so, think we need to repeat. Yeah, so uh, so, so, so the, right. the main point is just um to prove that action S is adding um on C elegance on torque as GK. Right. Um, yeah. So, so the point here is not not that we are today. We are just discussing. We are, we are repeating what yeah, what yeah. you have just said in your in your uh, fourth recording. It's it's about overall uh, understanding. Uh, Jishan, uh, yes. do you do do you do you, do you get the idea about this J J K L? Do you understand what is it, what is it about? So we have some questions that we can. Um, so generally, they, they just dissect the whole pathway and just just see okay the, the downstream influence of the TOR and DAF sixteen and SGK and DAF sixteen 
so this that there is this uh, dependence uh, on. Uh, yeah, come here, come here, come here. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. As if I see. No, here we have we have uh, we have one more. It's okay. Uh, as you wish. As you see. As you wish. As okay. you wish. <laughs> no, but just come closer. Yeah. Just come closer. Come closer, come closer to the table. It's okay. I just maybe here or or there. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um right, so so that one is, is very clear. And and for this uh K, yeah, so the figure four K. Um what Problem I have is that they never, they never mention any kind of uh, significances in all those curves. I mean, one one cannot see like whether it is like what is what is really an effect and what is really an effect which didn't reach a significant uh, level. And with this type of graphs, do you do you write the significance? I thought it was only with the bars. Uh, I mean, we are using the, the computational uh, tools in order to compare the data. Like either it's log rank task or some Kaplan Meyer derived or some other ones, but we need to assess the data somehow quantitatively. And, you know, without doing this, you cannot claim that there is something, there is some change or not. Yeah? It is not enough just to show qualitatively that there are some graphs, like look at that yourselves and just decide. That's not how it works. Um, so I'm uh, so here. They write in this figure legend, vicious exact test compared in control nuclear. No, that's a different thing. No, they don't write this. Maybe they write it in the methods, but this is this is not sufficient. I mean, how how can you do this? But I did try to do the dollars information. Nice. Probably just, I mean, and that's PNAS. I mean, we do this. I, I don't understand. I mean, it's, uh, for example, yeah, so there is this change in the figure K between this uh, empty blue and the uh, mm -hmm. uh, filled blue lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it significant or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it sure. is. Oh, no, no, empty blue, blue. No, no. It's How do you know? They say in the result, but they didn't mention it. I don't. I don't just buy it like that. Because if they if they say like something some without, I need to see this. I mean, uh, how how do you? They say it's not significant. They say it's not significant. I mean, I mean, for them, like there there is there is nothing shown here. Like what is significant and what is not. Um, okay, so they mean that. If if you have the HG, HGK uh, one, same effect uh, as one, then it is it is going via. But why isn't there this UPR dependent effect present? I'm wondering because they tried DAF sixteen previously, right? Uh, and and this effect, like if if DAF sixteen is inhibited, yeah, then then just... the UPR dependent effect is still present. Uh, and DAF six and SGK one uh, inhibition of SGK one inhibition of SGK one should uh, boost DAF sixteen actually. And if DAF-16 is already boosted, they claim that there is no additional effect. Uh, they claim there is no additional effect of HNS. But why is not SGK-1 uh, boosting by itself? Why is there no difference between the... If, um, I mean, if we compare the, the field blue, Compared with the field black, look at the graph, please. Field blue compared to, with the field black. Uh, is yeah, is there exactly. an effect? There is. 
Who, who says that? The risk means it's significantly changed. You, you know what I mean, right? I mean, they don't even bother to, to include any kind of significance yeah, so there. Think... And they, they want us to guess. So logically, if we would in they, say, um, they, they say that similar to SWIG1 mutants, SGQ1 mutants also live longer than unto animals. Do they, okay, do they include there the, the p value? So it's, what, it's, uh, it's, sorry, it's, yeah. sorry, PNS authors, but this is sloppy. I mean, I, you cannot, you cannot sell the story like that. I don't know how the reviewers could, could, could get it through. I, I would not. That's, that's not how it, how it should work. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm not questioning the overall setup of the experiments and the, the experiments per se, but the way how you describe it, this is, this is not acceptable. I mean, you cannot just, uh, Keep it uh, for granted that we just believe what you say. Okay, so we we, we need to to be to be sure that there is an effect. Okay, anyway, so let's um, the SGK one uh, mutation per se should uh, boost the DAF sixteen, so we should have some some uh, lifespan extension, and we kind of see it. Yeah. They they claim they see, and we believe that if they say it's upregulated, that it is significantly upregulated. But it's not how how it should be written. But it's okay. Um, okay, but if this uh, HNS is uh, mutated, then it kind of looks like it's getting back down to this uh, to this background. And you just said that it is not significant. The field uh, blue against the the open blue, it's not significant. How do you know? They say here there is no further extension of the lifespan. Um, when action as is added to it. That's, that's not what I asked. I didn't ask whether it further extends. I asked whether it's significantly lower. That could be an ambiguous statement for them if they say it like that. They say, there is no significant extension, further extension. There is no extension, there is actually a reduction. They, they don't always... I know. They don't even say significantly. I, I, that's, I, I just say that's how you can manipulate the data. Yeah. I'm not saying it's uh, it's manipulation in the sense of like when when you just shift the, the Western blots and just do it in Photoshop, dear PNS authors. I'm saying that that's how you describe when you describe the data like that. This is ambiguous, and this tells if if you don't see the graph, it tells that oh maybe they are similar and they are kind of like going in the same. The slope is similar. In fact, there is a reduction. Whether it, this reduction reaches the significance or not, we don't know because you guys don't show us the, the significances here, right? And this is uh, also a, an interesting phenomenon. I, I cannot explain this. How can we explain this? Why? Because not only we don't have the extension by the HNS, we actually have the reduction, whether it reaches significance yeah. or not. We don't know, but maybe you guys on purpose didn't put the significances there in order to, to cover maybe this, this difference. Yeah, maybe. maybe it is significant, actually. And you don't discuss this. And that's a problem. And we need to talk about this problem, okay? So, like, that's, that's another problem I, I wanted to point out. Okay, so that, that was some question which I had because of this panel. The next panel. So we that, that is... Uh, we have, uh, when we have the... Uh, Overexpression of the SGK. So an overexpression per se should actually suppress the 16, right? Yes. yes. Uh, this means that on the uh, uh, already like without HMS, so with a field blue um, um, blue line, we actually should have uh, should have reduction of lifespan right mm -hmm. we or at least we could expect but we don't see okay so th this means that this effect is not sufficient to to reduce the lifespan right yeah, yeah. that's what we're trying kind of to imply from this from this figure that's how i i, I read this, this figure you know okay and when we use hns uh, there is some tendency towards increase. 
Is it a tendency or it is significant? Like, what do they say? Okay, so so it's the statement is just um, confusing. You, you uh, they so they did not point out the tendency. Uh, they also didn't say that there is a uh, uh, extension. They just say that the lifespan modulation by S and S was for, um. For which for which panel? Which panel? For the I or oh, L L. Uh huh. So what do they say again? To attenuate, attenuate, yeah. So they, they say it's a bit attenuated in SGK mutants when HNS is added. So it's oh, what is attenuated? Sorry, no, it's called attenuated. Atten yeah, attenuated. At no, attenuated. 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 Yes. Yeah. What? Uh, so what exactly is attenuated? When HNS is added to the SGK one, what? the lifespan. I spell is yeah. attenuated. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see any. When, H, when HNS is added to yeah. SGK, lifespan is attenuated. I didn't see it. Uh, what do they mean by that? You mean lifespan or lifespan extension is attenuated? What is attenuated exactly? Can you, can you check again? What do they mean? Lifespan modulations. Let's <laughs> spend modulation. Okay, first, uh, guys, you, you know me. I, I hate the word modulation, alteration, influence, or what, something like that. I, if, if you know exactly that there is some effect, positive or negative, tell it. Yeah. Upregulation, downregulation, reduction, enhancement. Don't take modulation, okay? So, like, this, this, is, this is too ambiguous, not specific enough. So, uh, lifespan modulation had been attenuated. This is the worst uh, I, I have ever heard. Okay, not the worst, but uh, I heard the worst. Um, okay. So, what, what do they mean by that? Exactly. Lifespan because modulation. Point out this is the reduction <laughs> or the uh, I think from previous. What do you think? From previous figure, we can uh, we can suppose is a reduce of the re extension because um, HNS is um, extending the lifespan compared to N two, so um, they might um, they might want to say that is oh, um, yes. extension. Reduced. Yes, that's what that's what they want to say. Yes, they want to say that, yeah. that there is no such prominent but extension of the by the HNS. Point out the significant uh, let's because, talk just one by one. Okay, yeah. so if you want to talk, talk just talk. No. But, but but even though they they say that, I think that they still need to provide the significance because we did, we don't know whether yes is uh, yeah. okay um, okay so I uh, as I understand what they claim here is that uh, since there is an extension in the HNS mutant, if you overexpress HNS, uh, then there is Indeed, uh, the the mutants cannot reach that much lifespan because of that. Okay, we this we can understand uh, can can buy. That's what they want to claim. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, this this. Also, I think this also illustrates uh, how how different it is when you use the uh, the uh, gain of function or uh, loss of function models when you're dealing with a phenotype. So if you try to inhibit the phenotype, like here, then you can clearly make a point. So this figure L makes a very good point. So they just claim, okay, so you, this effect by by H and S is mediated at least in part by the DAF16. That is why if we block one of the, uh, if we enhance one of the uh, uh, upstream uh, inhibitors like SGK1, 
by that we blocked that 16. We partially blocked this, uh, this effect of HNS. Why only partially? Sisyan, quite far. We discussed it last Thursday. If, have you watched the, the video of, of Thursday's journal club, Sisyan? No. Uh, why not? Have you watched the videos which, which were not posted? Why? Why not? It's a journal club. We, we have a meeting, we work together. We discuss like the the, the job please this prepare for for it. And we we actively also ask questions, comment, and so on. So we discuss this in order to to try to find out how do they construct, how do they learn, what which mistakes they didn't make, or which what was good, yeah, what was not so good. Yeah. That's uh, very important. Bernard, do you, do you understand why it's only partial uh, attenuation? Yeah, because. The overexpression. No, why, why it's only partial? That's what I'm asking. Why there's still some effect of HNS? Because it's, uh, there are other other pathways like you, you, because there is UPR, UPR yeah, exactly, UPR. which which you discussed last time, yeah. <laughs> so, and that is very clear clear yeah. message. So you inhibit this this critical pathway, and you get an attenuation. Yeah. So you prove okay that goes at least partially by this pathway. But the they need to say it, but just there's no reason. Okay, but if you go for the K, where they do mutation of HGK, then you don't do this. You you actually you mutate HJK and by that you boost that 16. And you cannot already claim you you cannot claim much more from, from this because okay that is that is about like DAF 16 upregulation and whether there is an additive effect of the yeah. HGK or not you cannot judge from here but they still have the the uh, loss of function um, model in this K and by that they prove okay so it, it is actually dependent on DAF 16 because all these effects are gone so that is a good design yeah so because you need to have this uh, effect which is counteracting your main hypothetical effect. Only then you can claim that there is there is some uh, some dependence on this pathway. Okay, so let's let's continue. Uh, by the way, do you have an answer about the three H, which which I asked you? No, you don't. That's bad. Hey, um, you you didn't record this. I I told you that, that there is a, a, a question that. which which we need to address, and uh, I mean what? we should not have anything like unclear left. But okay, let's go for it. Um, so they did not. Um, <coughs> so that's the, that's about the the, uh, uh, the methyl glycol. Yes. Okay, and um, they. They show that there is reduction of uh, methyl glycol, and they yes. they use some other uh, other mutants which also inhibit metal, uh, methyl glycol. Yes. And they sh see the expected uh, extension of longevity. Um, and it is is it is it additive to the uh, HMS? It is additive. Yes. Uh, uh, not, not, not quite. Not, not quite. quite. Not quite. Uh, it's uh, the effect of HNS is much stronger than each of these inhibitors. Maybe because it goes via two pathways, but those uh, GLOA so, and uh, this uh, YDJGG probably goes only via uh, uh, mm -hmm. Tor pathway complex 2, right? Uh, but this uh, HNS goes also via this mitochondrial pathway as well. So maybe that's why the, the effect is stronger. And then uh, like further extension is not, is not possible because you cannot inhibit by those inhibitors more mm -hmm. than it is already inhibited because there is already a low level of the methyl glycol initially in this, yeah. this medium. This is how I see this figure B and C. Okay. Um, th this is how I would exp explain it. Like when I would do uh, the journal club, this is, this is how you, you need to yeah. explain. You don't need to go to like how they explain. If they, if they 
have problems with that and seems they, they, they cannot really explain their own data clearly. It's better to just do it um, yeah. by yourself. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so the, the effect, the D is clear, uh, the E, uh, and by the way, if, if you have questions or do you or Kuipan or or Alex, you just uh, ask. Like for me, uh, the, the rest is clear. The, the, the only the, thing is E and F is they, the, the, they, they mixed up the yeah. uh, the labeling. Okay, and you you mentioned it just briefly, but it's totally fine. I mean, they didn't intentionally do this. This is not data manipulation. This is just sloppiness. Yeah, they did, didn't check clearly. So in Figure F, there and is the same some... same labeling as in Figure E. E. You see. Uh, so it's a problem because um no it's okay they the the they mentioned it in the figure legends it's very clear that they just but they, they just they mentioned it in both i mean there's a they made a typo it's a typo they did they, they just forgot mm -hmm. to remove the, you see this the same label mm -hmm. you see that e and f yeah wow i'm yeah. afraid that they, they mixed the data oh my god mix the data. no the data are different you can see the data are different how can they, they, they be sure that it's E is definitely the you know, and F is definitely it's the it's a sloppiness. It's a sloppiness of the authors, a sloppiness of the reviewers, sloppiness of the editors of the PNAS. Sorry guys, but we say what, what it is, yeah. And uh, but it happens. Okay, mistakes happen, we are not robots, and it's it's it happens. It happens quite quite often. Okay, but it's, it's good to pick it up, so it's great, great that you, you, you saw this mistake. But you need to point this mistake, there is nothing, nothing bad in that, because you are doing it for, for everyone and for them as well. There is, there is nothing bad in that, that's, that's actually good. This means that you, you read the paper. It's already uh, sweet. Doesn't matter. It didn't doesn't matter. change. Doesn't matter. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, okay. Um, Okay, and the, like the, this effect is gone in F16. Okay, that's very clear. And the G is uh, is uh, GLOD is the mutants. Uh, it's the genes that the gene. inside the the C elegans. So okay. it's not it's not which, the, which it's metabolizes yeah. uh, methylglyoxal. It's yes. not a uh, bacteria. Yeah. Mutants. So that's that's also. That's also clear. Uh, so the, the whole thing works. It doesn't matter whether it is. Yeah. Um, can, can you comment on this, or or maybe uh, or or Alex? Would would you make a, take a message uh, uh, from from this one just just for a training, you know? So just to to to, to be able to to describe. Oh, Xian, if you wish, the take a message from the figure G. So just for the background, if if you don't understand like what is what is what, I can I can I can tell you or I can tell you. So what is what? So this G L O D four is uh, uh, if you listen to the presentation of Verna, uh, in her video she she told that that it is a, a gene which is important for the uh, meta metabolism and degradation of the methyl black cell. The methyl black cell is produced by the bacteria, and inside the C elegans there is a metabolite like the liver, yeah. So which detoxifies because methyl black cell is toxic, so it, it detoxifies uh, methyl black cell. So this mutation in this gene is this GLOD4 VC343 HNS, as you understand. So that's that's the pathway in bacteria. So if you Inhibited, so the methyl glycol is very low. Yeah. So, so meaning that the bacteria can metabolize bacteria. Not bacteria. It's not about bacteria here. So can you can you make an, uh, a statement? Please take a message for this figure. Yeah, but the A A H N S. G. Yes, H N S. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, it means that it produces less metal methyl glycol. Yeah. Smooth metabolize. Uh, for metabolism, the, there are other enzymes, GLOA and YDJG. They are doing this metabolism within the bacteria. HNS is working a little bit in a different way. So, but the what what we need to know is that there is 
in figure eight shown that there is a decreased methylglycol in this HNS matrix. That's that's a critical thing. Okay, so can uh, anybody make a summary and take a message for the figure 5G? Let's just try. I mean, it's, it's just just for for training, just to make sure that we can we can see the data, we can summarize the data, we can understand the data, and we can also speak about the data. Because when we go to the conference, we need to discuss the data. Well, I understand this HNS is like a like a strain, a strain of E. coli. Yes. So if there is less this compound you mentioned, sorry, I it's too methyl glyxam. Methyl. Methyl glyxam. Okay, I'm gonna put methyl. Methyl glyxam. So that means that this bacteria has either other paths to to metabolize that. You can metabolize that better than if there was not that bacteria. No? Uh, so I, I didn't get, I, I didn't get. That this type of strain can metabolize that compound in a different pathway. You, you mean which strain? The HNS. No, HNS produces less uh, methyl black cell. Ah, it really produces less. Yes. How do you know it produces less and not that it metabolizes in a different pathway? In, in this context, it doesn't matter, but uh, mm -hmm. it, it, that's about uh, a different story. Which, okay. which they published previously in, in Cell. Uh, not these guys, but the other, the other guys. So maybe that's the that whole message. HNS produces less methyl. Well, like okay. That is the uh, summary of the uh, take home message from the, uh, the panel A. I want you to summarize the panel G. Ah, and, and that and that promote that increases lifespan. Yes, that's only uh, you summarize the black uh, part of the figure G. Yes, correct. If mm. if we would be blind for blue, that would be the, the okay. summary. So it reduces length because when that gene is lacking. Here. Which gene? The BC343. Yeah, yeah, GLOD4. Yes. It's still the nice one is higher than the control. So, but oh, the BC343 is essential for lifespan. And for this to metabolize the base compound. Right. Now you summarized the, the blue part of this graph, but not the whole graph together. You, you, what you said is that uh, GLOD4 is mm. important for lifespan, and loss of it increases lifespan. That's what you said. No. That's what you said. Yes. You, you didn't say. say no, you, I didn't mean that. What mm. did you mean? Well, but that's correct. But okay. You no, it doesn't increase. It decreases, right? I said mutation of mm. GLOD4. Yeah. Increases lifespan. Why? Why it decreases? Because the blue is mutated, right? The gene is mutated in the blue. Oh, you compare the the uh, the um, the field blue against the field black, or what? What are you comparing? No, no, no. Um, I'm comparing the blue with the blue. Uh, with the, yeah, blue. It, uh, the blue, blue with the black. Blue. Yeah, with the, the blue with the black, right? In, no, the, in the blue, the case is that uh, this BC three four three is mutated. But in the black, it's not right. That's that's what you you said before, right? Blue means oh, it's, it's written. Awesome. Yeah, but I'm I'm, I'm not reading it right now. Like uh -huh. in the blue, this BC three four three is mutated. In the black, it's not. Right. Right. Yeah. So if it's mutated, lifespan is lower. Yet it's higher in HNS because produces less methyl blah blah, and right. that methyl so? produces uh, like 
it's toxic to the cell, so it, right. it reduces life. That's, that's my summary, which is not really summary. That's the idea, no? No, it's right. It's not very clearly dis de de described. I don't, I don't know, Zishan. Zishan, do, do, can, you, can you repeat this uh, summary? Can you, can you make your summary? But can you describe like, what is, what is, uh, what do you see in this figure? <coughs> And compare the death span. Yeah, but we have control and mutant for C. elegans, and we also have control and mutant for bacteria. There, it's kind of two way. So, which control and mutant do you mean exactly? Genes. Genes both in bacteria and the C. elegans. We are discussing two ways. We have control mutant, and each of the control mutant is treated also with bacteria control and mutant. That's that's the setting. So which I, uh, but I didn't understand which which one did you mean? But I, I think I think what what is it was uh, clear enough, right? Because is the B three four three is an essential gene to metabolize this methyl, and this HNS produce less methyl. Therefore, when the gene is mutated, the lifespan is higher on the HNS. Yet when the gene is mutated, it, the lifespan is overall shorter than in the control. That's correct. But uh, the main purpose of this uh, uh, panel is to understand the metabolism of the methyl glycol might impact the the longevity of the, of the HMS, which it does. Which does not. It, it does, right? Because when the gene is mutated, lifespan is shorter, even if only the HNS. Yes, but the question is whether HNS effect is gone or somehow influenced by the uh, by the by the mutation in this gene. The question is if it's significant, no? the distance between the empty 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 it's, blue and empty black. Yes, exactly. And you, it's, which is it's in. No, it's just by eye. By eye, it seems no, significant. By eye. It, no, like what what I, what I see is that the effect is the same. So in, in the, either you use this um, this mutation for this metabolism within the C elegans, where like the methyl glycol is actually metabolized less. This this means that they live generally less. So we have the lower base generally, but the effect of the HNS. Is, is still the same, so so we just just shifted. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole thing okay, is shifted yeah. just because there is it's a little bit more toxic because they cannot metabolize more. Okay. But the effect is still there because mm. overall there is less um, methyl glycol, mm. um, as well as there is another component. So and, and this uh, this is this is how I would describe this. I mean, it's very clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see that it's shifted. So it's like to say that this HNS effect is proportional to BC343? Not, not proportional. It, it is independent, I would say. It doesn't matter like whether you have... Uh, proportional to the quantity of methyl. Methyl works, it, it, the HNS is actually uh, producing uh, the HNS mutant produces mm. less mm. methyl glycol, but this is, is le less toxic, that's why the, extent, uh, the yeah, life yeah, extent, yeah. Uh, extension is, is stronger. And it doesn't matter if you have this enzyme intact or not, you still have this effect present. Although the, the, the base, like it is being shifted, of course, because the overall the, uh, the metabolism of the metal glycol cell is, is worse if you have this uh, mutation of GLOT4. But the effect of HNS is still present.
um, wouldn't we expect if we have such a high dose of uh, methylglycine in controls? Wouldn't we expect that the effect on the survival in the GLOT4 mutant would be stronger on controls than on the mutants? We would ex I would expect that there is at least hypothetical that this difference between these more dramatic con controls would be more, more would be uh, stronger than in the mutants. doesn't look like that right it looks like okay. this this low dose of methyl black cell is still exerts some still exerts some toxicity even this low dose that's why that that's why even uh, even that small dose of methyl black cell can still be metabolized and removed by this blood four and and that uh, is still still critical for the longevity Maybe because it accumulates. May accumulate some, you know. Okay. The longer, the uh, longer the time. It might be. But that, that's speculated. It could be. The more there is, so the more it needs to. Could be. Could be. But it's but it different. Is yeah. minor. The difference is, is I don't know. I don't know if it's that relevant. Which difference? You know? exactly. For example, between field blue and field black. This gap, no? This is the, the effect of the knockout. I mean, and between the empty I, blue and empty. I, frankly, black. I think it is significant, but this, these guys are sloppy and they didn't include anywhere the, uh, the no, but assessment what about I mean is the difference, no? The difference between you feel and black and black. Difference is means statistic. Different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, we, we need to talk statistics here and we cannot because these guys uh, have our uh, hands bound behind, behind it. So we, we, we cannot talk statistics here. So, like, what do we discuss here? I mean, that, but uh, so your point is that the the minor difference, uh, and what if it is, is it, it is not so strong for you? That means what? No, no, no. I think I think it's relevant between field and field and empty and empty. But between field and field, in my if I could give it a number, it would be one. And between empty and empty is one or two. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, no, but my question is, I would expect that the differences between the uh, empty would okay. not be that strong uh, because the methyl black cell is very yeah. low there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the influence of the uh, of this uh, kind of enzyme, which is the detoxifying enzyme with this mm. CNA, should be actually much less. The, this impact of, of, on it should be much less on the on the mutants. On the HNS meters, then on the contrast. That, that's my point. Moreover, we have also the uh, the other pathway here. We have also this the UPR uh, dependent this mitochondrial pathway, mm -hmm. and that per se should be also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, um, and by the way, Bernard, when, when you're looking for the, the description and, and so on, you, you need not only look in the results, but also maybe in discussion. So maybe they discuss those kind of discrepancy between OP50 and the other strain in the discussion. Have you checked that? Because that's, that's did, where they discuss I, the most difficult. Uh, in my PPP. I already summarized this discussion. Yeah. Did they mention this uh, this point which we discussed last, last time, or like this kind of difficult points which which are which are questionable? I think the, the discussion is more in the big picture is not in detail. If you want to find some detail statement. No, because that's that's why we have discussion. Discussion is exactly for that to do, to look for some discrepancies, for some some data which are like hard to explain or need to be addressed. So I would really love to see the discussion about like why they have this OP50 um, and uh, this uh, K12 uh, discrepancy, which we discussed uh, in the last uh, um, figure. But okay, maybe let, let's go further because uh, we have YouTube. Yeah, I'm... stream, not stream, but recording. So yeah. 
Okay, so here, uh, so we are not going to do just repeat everything. So what they claim here is that AKT is unchanged, right? Yes, AKT right? is unchanged. Uh, uh, well, and, and SGK is. Uh, but we have this phosphor AKT uh, increased. And where is the quantification of the Western blood, dear uh, PNAS? Yes, you can see. They, they don't show, like, they want us to believe that they tried once uh, the Western blood, although they probably say that they repeated it three times, right? Did they write that? That's the standard way, right? And they want us to believe that, like, that's uh, that's what we need to 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 believe and kind of make a quantitative quantitative assessment based on the qualitative data. Uh, okay, let's let's look into this uh, Western blot, uh, guys and ladies. So what they claim is uh, let's go for for AKT first, right? They claim that methyl glyx now does increase uh, the phosphor AKT, right? Mm -hmm. but the whole whole reasoning goes about the SGK. I think they wanted just to show the phosphor AK, uh, the AKT pathway is, was not really much involved there. Why do they see this phosphor AKT increase? Bernard, can you can you guide us through? I'm a little bit stuck here. I didn't quite understand your explanation in this video which you pre presented before. You you just made it so fast, just went through, but I want to really understand this. So what do we see at least? Okay, let's start. What do we see? Maybe Lo you can 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 do it, can do a summary. Lo Yu, what do we see? Uh phosphor SJK1 an increased. Well, there is an increase 16 in, in, respo in response to methyl glyxal. If for, if SGK1 is increased, the activity is increased. So we have the inhibition of Fox uh Fox O uh DAF 16 which makes sense, so that's detrimental, and that's what they want to claim. They want to claim that methyl glyxal boosts the SGK pathway and mTOR pathway, it decreases the uh, uh, DAF16, and by that, it decreases their lifespan. Okay, we can buy that, right? Um, good. Uh, now, let's go to phosphor AKT. Phosphor AKT, uh, it also it's uh, when it is activated we expect uh, since it's uh, downstream of the insulin uh, pathway right that it would also uh, if it would be activated it would also decrease the uh, the DAF16 but we do see the activation of phosphor AKT here as well very strong. Why, why do they only concentrate on, on, on SGK1? And yeah. they, they say that there is only like SGK1 pathway which is, uh, which is involved in this DAF16, but not the insulin, uh, insulin receptor. Something like growth factor pathway. Mm -hmm. why, uh, why is that? Because that's, that was my understanding. That they say, okay, look, here we have like nice SGK1 boosting. That's that's why it goes by this pathway. Do they comment on the phosphor AKT upregulation here? Yes, they um, they, they, they just say the result that they didn't. They say what? They say that phosphor AKT is also increased. Yes. Uh, okay, and and they. Uh, Uh, 
Okay, so, okay. And this all kind of goes along with that. that this means that, that was in which cells, by the way? Where, where was it? Human dermal Human dermal fibril. Everything was done as human yes. dermal fibroblasts. Okay. Good. Uh, okay, we can bite. We can understand. So that, that could be a mechanism. Uh, although they don't show here Fox O. Right? Yeah. I they don't they, show here Fox O. They might have done it, but I don't know why they don't show it. Okay, then they also show P21. It's nice. They have the uh, the decrease of the uh, of the, the 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 increase of the senescence. I think that's also nice to say we can use. By the way, in J uh, P21. It's nice. So I think we can introduce this model as well, right? Mm -hmm. Also, this uh, better galactose uh, stain. And there is some quantification. Ooh, okay. Find the metabolites. Excuse me. If you find, if you find some metabolites in our study, then we, we can yeah. I have a problem with the, the point that they didn't uh, quantify the uh, the Western. Yes. But okay, overall uh, we can buy it. Awesome. Some managers are used this way too. I know, very many. I know. I'm not. I'm not okay with that. It's... From the band, it's very obvious. I agree, but for that, they they want us to believe them. I don't want to believe. We are scientists. We need to question everything. Let's show me the data. Yeah? So they they want. To, 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 they have done it three times, fine, they make a quantification, then it's okay. Um, okay, but uh, let's, let's go for it. Uh, let's go for it. I, I agree, it's very clear, very clear. I'm not questioning. I'm just saying that it could be done better. Okay, so no. uh, uh, here, uh, Basically, they, they, they see that was, um, all the genes, most of the genes which were uh, associated with this longevity increase, which was also dependent yeah. on that 16 yeah, yeah. was hitting in this 301. Mm -hmm. So they were different from those which were dependent of, on the I, 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 yeah. right. Okay, that's uh, clear. And out of those 301, they chosen they chosen those uh, Nine genes, right? Or how many? Eight. Yes, the, the eight genes. Is, um, why? Why only these? These eight. Why? Why did they choose chosen? Uh, why? Why have they chosen those eight genes specifically? And the question is, those blue ones, these three hundred one, they were up or down regulated, and whether they were significantly regulated. These these blue ones. In this A, figure A. Or not? So the uh, so the question was, you say why they choose the um, only couple of them, like a, a of them, right? They they just say that they just examine this. They just want to examine the A of class three sepsis again using the No, no, this I, I know myself. I you want to say we don't know? They they don't show. They don't tell why. They don't tell why. Or they were top genes. They didn't say top. They don't. They, don't say. they just say. They but just did you check the the uh, supplementary data? Maybe they, they. You mean the list of the class three? This eight. I mean, I mean, why did they go with this eight? They show us three hundred one. Yeah, yeah. And then they go with this eight. I'm not clear why they go with this eight. This will, I have also one trouble. Yeah, but you need to ask us. this, you know. So you need to ask it to your to yourself and also to to them. Kind of like you need to understand, you know, the the, the whole story, the logic of the whole story should be very clear. And if it is done this way, like ah, oh, we don't know why that that is 
that is not well constructed story. Okay, for the for the figure A, uh, the panel A. So those are all uh, significantly different, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. And they are uh, the blue circle shows DAF sixteen target genes upregulated by HNS. Yes. Ah, okay, they were upregulated by HNS. But all of them are uh, are dependent on the DAF sixteen, correct? So the 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 red and blue, they all are dependent on DAF sixteen. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yes. And uh, those uh, three hundred one were uh, were also dependent on the HNS. <laughs> How did they do this? What was the sequencing set up? What was the sequencing setup? Uh, they they used uh, normal N two probably with control and HNS. They made sequencing and then they made a list of all uh, known DAF sixteen targets. They use N two wild type and also DAF sixteen mutants, and then they add uh, with control E. coli and HNS. That's how they did sequencing. Yes, but they, I think that they, they need to show some like. No, no. Ads. Are you sure? So that was the sequencing setup. They they they, they tested four. You see. No, that's C, panel C. The, no, that's probably no, no. PCR. I don't think it's. It's it, QPCR, but um, they also mentioned in the setup. Okay, so they made sequencing yes. with all these four. Yes. Okay, that's a good setup for sequencing. I should say mm -hmm. that's that's good. But you are right. They need to show like they how need to show how, how, how exactly did they make this, yeah. this sequence? It's just really okay. From this setup, of course, if you have this kind of a two way, you have DAF sixteen mutant or not mutant, HNS mutant or not mutant, you can have all the, the nice picture, and then you can clearly see this three hundred one yeah. genes. Yeah. That's very well well designed sequencing uh, and uh, good setup. Okay. And they see that they overlap with the known class one genes. You know, uh, this one, what, what does it mean, class one genes? I pretty much took that. Class one gene. So in 2013, there was a cell article, and they checked for the DAF16 dependent mutants, which were uh, uh, which were dependent on the uh, insulin uh, IIS, so insulin pathway. Uh, Either, either you know. So, if you have DAF sixteen mutant uh, is uh, decreasing the lifespan, uh, Bernard, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and it is uh, it is dependent on the IIS, so you you should have the insulin pathway upregulated. Then it is a class one gene. But if uh, there is a DAF16 uh, target, and uh, you have the mutation of the DAF16, but the insulin pathway is down, then it is class 2 gene. So they had kind of dissected, okay, so those, uh, so generally, they, the majority of them, they would hit in the class 1 gene, correct? Uh, class 1 cl uh, cluster, because insulin pathway is generally decreasing the DAF16. It's, it's inhibiting DAF16, which is the FOXO1 in, in in mammals. That's why you expect that if, if DAF16 is, um, is down, then insulin pathway generally would be boosted. That would be class one. Class two is opposite, that DAF16 is down and insulin pathway is also down. That was described in this paper. So that what they find here is that majority of what they found from this uh, sequencing doesn't hit to class one, which, which they, they would expect. So it means it doesn't go via the, this insulin pathway. Or at least partially it does, because there is some overlap. You see 18 genes? Yes. And we also see this in mammals. We also see this uh, 
phospho AKT upregulation. So probably partially goes like the, the uh, insulin pathway, but mostly not. That's why they designated, okay, this class will be called class three. And they say, okay, that's our class. This is dependent on the HNS mutation, which is independent on the class one. Okay, that, that is the, the key point here. So that this DAP16 uh, modulation is not dependent on the insulin pathway, but is dependent on the different pathway. In this case, they dissect the top complex two pathway, SJK1. So that, that's the whole point. I also suggest you can uh, do a similar um, analysis in our ENT model because we also want to find the that that too. That's a good idea. We can we can just um, get, give a try and see how how it does that. That's a good idea. We we should have thought about that before we submitted the sequencing. Actually, but right now we can still us. Uh, sure, but that would be a partial repetition of the data because we already sequenced this uh, mutants. We'll think. Maybe we can think of something, something more clever, even like to to learn something in addition. I, 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 I'm, I mean, I'm not necessarily just, want to. I mean, just find the, the maybe class uh, one or class two, just uh, see whether. Um, I know. No, I know what you mean. It's a good idea. Uh, I just, because we have already done the sequencing, that's why I'm not sure I want to repeat this exactly this way. So I would maybe. No, no, I, I, I don't mean, I don't mean we need to redo our sequence. I just, you see, in the YouTube so I <laughs> Yeah, exactly. We can, we can do it after. after this guy. Yes, uh, dear YouTubers, now you are, you witnessed that we are also currently uh, thinking about how to implement this uh, interesting uh, methods uh, and maybe we can use some of those. Um, okay, Th that's actually good good strategy, good good design. Um, still not clear how they came up with those specific eight genes. Maybe they tested 20 and uh, 12 of them didn't work. And they, they just show us eight, or like how come they came up with this eight? Not clear. We want to know it, but we don't find the answer here. Uh, so that is um, something which is missing. Okay. Um, the, the panel B, is, does it say, say uh, tell us anything? Does it really matter? I don't know. I mean, it's, I, th I think it's just, you know, just to show some data, right? Because I, I cannot, or, or if you have some ideas, I, I personally couldn't really relate it to the this, to this story. I don't find it very relevant. The panel be about all the different pathways. I mean, for me, gene ontology matters only when it, it is really about like what we study. If it if it fits there and if it if it makes sense then it's fine but if it just you know shows some additional data then it's really it's it's actually diluting the the, the main main uh, point of the story if you show something like that okay so your CD is clear they show just uh, that this DAF sixteen dependence right so they just yeah. uh, prove it by qPCR. Uh, and uh, and they they show also the typical um, typical uh, players within the insulin pathway, right? So three and meet MTL one, right? I I understand that that is like typical yeah, class yeah. one gene, right? Yeah, yes. And they just show okay the, the uh, contrast, okay that that's good, that, that's quite clear, and that's it, right? So that's the that's yeah. Okay. Now questions. Like, do you have uh, any questions or any comments? Okay. Not not yet. Maybe then you can just make. Can you make a short summary of the whole thing? Maybe in two three sentences. The whole thing as yeah, the, the like uh, the story. Um, what do you think? Uh, maybe the the whole summary. Then what do you think about that? Yeah. Fair enough. 
so this paper, uh, the innovation I think is um, they investigate. Let's, let's, let's make first a summary. Like what? Just to summarize, in one, one two sentences. What what did the researchers find? What is the main? They uh, find that agent as mutants coli um, is working through toward SGK1 pathway to um, regulate the C ligand lifespan. Uh, let's, and let's say let's say the the HNS is detrimental. Yeah, let's say so not regulate. You you say regulate means like it increases or decreases, and nobody understands. Okay, HNS is detrimental. HNS within the bacteria. Uh, leads no, 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 no. HNS is. It is. It, yes, because the mutation of HNS is prolongevity, but HNS per se is detrimental. Okay, you mean the gene? Okay, okay, sorry. HNS <laughs> results know. in the production of more yeah, methyl yeah. cell, yeah. which is toxic. And causes the uh, uh, expansion of uh, uh, cause, causes the de decrease of the lifespan. Yes. And they show here that sorry, I, I will do. Um, uh, so it, and it goes by the uh, by this UPR uh, mitochondrial UPR pathway as well as the torque. Yes. Yeah. Um, that that is the summary. Um, okay. So then now, like, what would you think or whatever? I so. the, the whole scheme. Uh, so I think it's about the what matter in the um, the metabolites in the bacteria can affect the, the host um, longevity. I mean, it's um, it's nicely to to shows that um, how the just just you know what I mean. Just. To link the bacteria part to the host, and you're talking to you too, yeah, not only I mean, to me. So try to formulate. It's just a. It's a, How the metabolize in the bacteria? They can uh, having some effect on the host longevity by regulating longevity pathway, and. Okay, you you didn't say much. Yeah, I didn't. You you just <laughs> trying to that's recursive, repetitive. But more, also, grammatical is very bad. You you need to 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 work yeah, on, I, on, I, your, I, on your I, talking I and writing. It, it is uh, cannot talk like that. That's not yeah. English. Uh, okay. Um, any other comments? Any anyone wants to to comment? overall design some problems or maybe something. To praise them, or what? What we find is good was great, or what was not so great. Anything? Uh, do you do, do? you want to to make some assessment? Yes, uh, some typos. They have repeated papers. Yes. Typos. Yes, that's sloppiness. Yes, that's sloppiness. Come back. Any other? Yes. I understand before HNS was not linked to longevity, right? No, no, it was. It was. There was there was a cell paper where they they linked it to longevity. It was it was known, and it was previously known that it is going by the UPR, but that was known. Mm. The new thing here is that, is the other that it goes no? by the talk to. Okay. You want to comment or say something? Disha? Mm -hmm. Good point. Okay. Um, yes, I agree with Liu Yu. It's sloppy. Um, how the how they constructed, also how they described the data it was uh, the difficulty the significances. Some points we couldn't figure out. I couldn't figure out the 3H, like what 
why was it uh, like that and what 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 is the the reason of using this FUDR plus minus and then UV killed and be alive and Verna said that she could not find any explanation of that in the text. I'm not sure whether she didn't uh, look uh, thoroughly enough, or maybe really the authors didn't explain about that. Which one? Or they assume that we, we, we need to know about that. Uh, that could be also. The ones we, which used NUO6, uh, the figure 3H, they use NUO6, Newton. And then they, they treat with plus and minus FUDR and UV killed bacteria uh, in order to check for this uh, FUDR effect of this UPR and T, which was already shown in the cell uh, paper. Uh, maybe we didn't treat this uh, cell paper, that's why, uh, that's why we, we didn't understand this, but that was not clear for me. Okay, so uh, also what is not clear for me was this. Figure four A. Why do they uh, not four A? Sorry, uh, Verna, help me. Which which figure I I, I have problem with? Yes, the figure four I. Four I. I couldn't understand why in OP fifty we suddenly have the detrimental effect mm -hmm. of the rict one. And Verna claims that. Uh, the authors also didn't discuss this uh, either in the uh, results or in discussion section. If they did not, then it is something which is which would interest me a lot. Uh, why uh, they do this? Otherwise, I agree. Uh, data are very convincing, and the story overall is very convincing. It could have been much better um, constructed and and also um, described. Uh, so. I, I'm I'm having a problem with the, how you describe the data, but I don't have problem with overall um, design of the study and the study itself. So that the study is very strong. So I, I really praise uh, the the guys in, uh, in in the PNAS. I just have some problems uh, with uh, how they describe the story, and also the problem with. Uh, with the, with the editors and reviewers of PNAS. I think this is too sloppy also for, for them. Yeah. And uh, with that, we have, uh, you have recorded four uh, videos yourself. Uh, don't, don't stop recording this. Uh, we ha also had this discussion last Thursday, and now we continue the discussion today. So we had in total, uh, I think there will be six videos on YouTube on, on this story, which was in PNF, which had only five uh, or six figures. So, which is just pretty, uh, pretty uh, good job, Werner. I should say, good job. Thank you very much for going into the tale. But you did it pretty superficially. I think you can do it better next time. So please, please go. I think if, if they can provide pretty good this, uh descriptions of I agree I, that could okay help for me, but yeah. that that is also our job like we look for like okay these guys are sloppy they didn't really uh, like describe it well fine that's our job we are we are trying to see okay we can tr criticize we can say okay yeah. guys you didn't do it well okay here you did it well here you didn't do it well that's that's why we do this journal club so we can critically assess the design of the study the how the which methods do you do they use which, uh, how exactly do they describe the data, the analysis, the description, and so on and so on. This is all what we discuss in journal class, okay? Um, but overall, I think it's very useful uh, to, 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 to do this, right? What do you think? Overall, this, this kind of discussion. Okay, next uh, journal class. We'll be, wait, 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 please. Uh, we will have in, in two weeks, right? So uh, uh, that's, huh? We're gonna do. Uh, yeah, Okay, so Guihua will um, upload the uh, video of the uh, next uh, um, of, of, of the next uh, paper. Then we can leave the comments. So we will have maybe one week, and then I will I will book the room again. So should we do it in this room again? I, because.